What's up guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a automatic gun shop with wire mod and Lexicals Tools money pot. So to start off you're going to need to be on a server with wire mod and start a new expression and you can call whatever you want, I'm just going to name it a gun shop tutorial. I tried to do a tutorial before so I'm going to do a tutorial too. User 1 User 2 User 3 User 4 User 5 These are going to be the 5 users for your guns. You're going to be using 5 guns. Pot is going to be your money pot. TS Wire Link is going to be your um, screen. For output you're going to want Ranger 1 Ranger 2 Ranger 3 Ranger Ranger four, Ranger five, and to start off, we're gonna go CS, right string. Welcome to my gun shop. Zero comma one comma two five five comma zero, and we're gonna place that down. And we get a console screen. Place it wire CS to here. It's going to say welcome my gun shop. We can make it look a little bit nicer by centering it. I just center it like that. I don't know why. I just do. And then you could put... Oh wait, actually I'm going to replace these with... Sometimes you have to replace the screen because console screens are not very good, I guess. I want to use that as a word. Um, I usually use EGP, but it's more advanced. And I will show you how to make a touchscreen gun shop in the near future. But for now, I'm not going to. Okay, so this is welcome to my gun shop. Um, if you want to make it blink, you can just change this color to, um, it, you can change this number to anything. I'm just going to put 87, comma, 34. And it's going to blink two different colors now. That's a little bit too close to color, but I'm not, I'm going to leave it because I don't want this color to drag on with me trying to get good colors. So next you're going to want to type CS, right, string, Guns for sale zero. I'm just gonna do some stupid design here because it really doesn't matter. Just the design. Okay, now I'm going to put comma, zero, comma, two, comma, and pick a color. I'm going to pick 600 because that would be red. And I'm, I'm going to put comma zero because I don't want this to flash. Sorry about that. It's in the way. Um, let's see. Now it says guns for sale below. And next, you're going to write CS, write, string. Uh, I'm just going to pick random guns that aren't, aren't even on this server anymore. Money bag and then money sign 400 comma 0 comma 3 comma 379 comma 0 and I'm gonna copy and paste this I'm gonna change it yet uh, each price has to be different otherwise it'll glitch out so I'm just gonna raise the price each time and I'm gonna change this to eight, eight, four, five, six, seven. Now when I save and exit, click, all of them will pop up. Okay, so basically this that's now from here you can just put whatever you want. And I'm not gonna do it, but you can just copy and paste this and fill it up with stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do that. 
So I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. So for, for here, we're gonna do if, this is gonna make the uh, the things that says in stock or out of stock. So we're gonna do if ranger one is greater than zero, then we're gonna cs write string one, two spaces in stock two comma zero or comma seventeen comma three comma zero okay and then you're gonna put that right there and then else you're gonna put that and I, I don't even know what those are called I been coding forever and I don't remember cs right string out of stock actually I'm gonna fix something up there real quick because it's gonna bug me later on I'm gonna fix it now I'm gonna make it flash colors because I want to look cool and remember the colors only go up to 900 so you can just pick whatever you want and there's someone in my base right now uh yeah I'm making a tutorial right now what? Comma 600. Comma 344. Four. And it's gonna flash red, but let me fix that. It looks annoying. 299. What did you do? Change. Oh, wait. It's down here. Change this to 700. There, I guess that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna space it out one more space over. And basically, you could just well, I should replace this, and it says out of stock. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I don't want to waste time. Okay, so Ranger, and just change this number. Ranger two, Ranger three, Ranger four. Ranger 5, and then change these, so this would be 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. Now it's going to show up for all of them. Okay, so here's, um, basically we're close to done. Now we're going to do the part where if the money is inside the money pot, then it'll give the player the, the gun. So if pot equals equals 400 so this would be for gun one v1 equals one else v1 equals zero and you're going to want to put that for all of them so and then i'm going to change the price six seven So you want, oh wait, this is supposed to be user, my bad, I forgot. User 1, user 1, user 2, user 2, user 3, user 3, so 4, wait, there's a 3, wait, no, this is 4. Okay, so now it's done, so I'm going to show you how to wire it. Basically, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to spawn in a user. You put any length on the user, it doesn't really matter. And for the ranger, you're going to want to check entity I, enti output entity ID, and that's this one right here. Make sure it's checked. Put the range to, like, like, make sure that if there's a prop in front of it, for like your gun shop, it's not hitting it, otherwise it's going to screw everything up. So I just set mine to 20. So down here you're gonna want to do you're gonna wire want to wire wire advanced user one oh wait oh hold up okay well I just realized what I did here and these are supposed to be flipped users supposed to be on bottom rangers are supposed to be on top.
Okay. There we go. Now, we're gonna want to wire fire from the user to user 1 and ranger 1 to entity ID. Now, if there, if, if you, I don't have a gunship in on me, so I'm just gonna put a prop there. Oh, I'm gonna pick a smaller prop. Mm, this one's fine. If there's a prop in front of that ranger, it's gonna say in stock, but that is not working. One second. Let me ch move this over. I forgot to. 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay, that, that, that works now. It's just glitched because I forgot to. I'll replace the screen. I don't want it to look like ghetto. Alright. Okay. Okay, so now when I put that there, it's gonna say in stock. It's not gonna look all garbage. Um, so basically your shipment, say this is your shipment, it's gonna go across to both wire and user. It's gonna say in stock. You're gonna wanna put a money pot and wire. Use your advanced wire tool and wire pot to sort them out. And spawn them out to sort them out. Spawn them out to sort them out will basically take the money out automatically when you punch put it into there. So, see, it'll automatically take it out. And that's all there is to it, because I don't have a weapon shipment, but I trust me, it will work. Uh, I know how, what I'm doing, I know how to code. I've been coding for like a year now, or coding E2 for like a year now. So, uh, don't forget to uh, uh, like and subscribe, and if there's any problems, just comment. If you want me to make another tutorial on EGP, then just comment that too, and if I get enough comments, then I'll do it. Um, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next tutorial.